Today we're going to paint the background of our Blue Dog project. Our background is going to show a lot of color mixing skills. We are going to include all the secondary colors in our background. Orange, green, and purple. Let's start with green. Green is going to be a really good color for the grass. And as you probably remember, in order to make green, we need blue and yellow. Whenever I mix colors, I always start with the lighter color first. I'm also going to make sure that I have my messy mat underneath my paper. That way when I paint the edges of my project, I won't get the tabletop dirty. So since I'm starting with the lighter color, I'm just going to scoop some yellow onto my brush and I'm going to start painting the ground. The ground is the whole area below the horizon line that we drew. Now, even though I haven't painted the whole ground yellow yet, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some blue paint before all this yellow paint dries. So I'm gonna clean my brush, dry it off really good so that no water gets into this paint palette. And then I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of blue and I'm going to mix that into my yellow paint. Until I have a nice green color that I want. Try hard to stay inside the lines. And if my paint gets a little too dried out, I can always use a little dip of plain water help to blend it a little bit more. And when I run out of paint, I can just clean my brush, dry it off again, and do the other half the same way. Get some more yellow, Fill it in. I'm trying to be really gentle so I don't give my brush a bad hair day. My brush shouldn't be making a scraping noise because that means it's probably dried out. Clean it. Get some blue. And mix it again. until I have all my grass painted green. Next, I have to paint my sky. I have a choice of making my sky violet or orange because those are the two secondary colors I have left. I've already done green. I think that today I'm gonna make my sky violet. So I'm gonna clean my brush. And I know that I need to mix red and blue to make violet. They're both sort of a dark color, so it doesn't really matter which one you use first. I'm going to use red first. In the same way, I'm just going to start with a small area. And then I can mix the blue right into it. Might need a little more. And it's going to make a really dark purple color. It almost looks black. That's okay. If you're worried that it's turned out too dark, that's all right. It's supposed to be dark. If you ever want to create a light purple, you can just create this color and then add some white to it. And now I'm going to mix those same two colors all over my whole sky. Now I have one last secondary color that I need to create. That's orange. I already have a purple sky and green grass, so now I'm going to have an orange sun in the sky. So to make orange, I need yellow and red, and yellow is a lot lighter than red. So I'm gonna definitely start with yellow first. This might be a little tricky because I have to make sure that my yellow doesn't mix with my purple sky. 
So I'm going very slow as I paint to make sure that my yellow doesn't get too close to the purple. Now after that, I have to be really careful that I only get a tiny amount of red. Red is a really dark color compared to yellow, so you don't need too much of it. I only dipped a tiny little corner of my brush, and I'm going to mix that in. If you get too much red, then your sun is just going to look red instead of orange. Being careful not to mix in with my purple. I might need just a little bit more. Maybe a little water. If your sun gets too red, you could try to problem solve it by adding in even more yellow. That will make it look more orange. There we go. Now, I have orange, purple, and green in my background. I'm not going to work on any parts of my dog today. When you have your background finished, then you're done.